When courses require a solid foundation in robotics, the RTS 200 Robot Training System by SMC covers the operation, connection, and programming of standard robots used in automated processes. Our all-in-one training platform and guided curriculum are developed with a focus on industry standards. The training system is built and designed using industry-relevant components exactly like those found in manufacturing equipment for a seamless learning experience. Let's take a look at the key features and functions of the base RTS 200 robot training system. It includes an expanded work surface, which quickly lowers for transporting through standard doors. It utilizes modular application panels for expansion into advanced integration. It allows for addition of programmable controllers. It includes an open frame format for collaborative robots. Can include a fenceless format with safety scanner for non-collaborative robots. And expanded integration activities with electro-pneumatics, sensors, conveyors, programmable controllers, distributed I.O., 2D and 3D artificial vision, and robot guidance. Students enjoy the simple design of the training platform and easy to follow activities, as well as the robust learning modules. The curriculum for our base robot training system includes these 11 topics. Introduction to robot systems, robot startup and commissioning, end of arm tooling, program creation, joint, linear, and circle motions, path following, pick and place operations, digital I.O., configuration of variables, utilization of timers, subprograms, and if statements. Give your students the best learning opportunity with built to industry standards training systems from SMC. Learn more about the equipment, configure products, and review the curriculum at smctraining.com. So here we have it, the RTS 200, or the technology trainer for competencies related to the industrial robotics. What does this product provide? It provides different applications or problems for the students to solve and develop their robotic uh, programming skills. How does they do that? By um, having some modular applications that by just by um, for example, uh, fast screws, we can assemble and disassemble different applications. Or in the case of the panels, we can uh, exchange it very uh, fast. So this, the applications have a modular design, but are also uh, industrial based. All of the components that we will find, all of the electrical connections, all of the pneumatic connections, the light banner and the uh, push buttons are uh, industrial components as well as the robot. If we focus on it, uh, we can integrate the size of your robot that we want. In this case, it's UR5E, which has a reach of 18, 850 millimeters and with a weight of only 20 kilograms. It has a payload of five kilos. And all of the uh, UR robots are industrial robots that are, all, are also collaborative. And this brings a lot of security in the manipulation and will uh, reduce any risk of the students getting hurt during the training. The touch screen, uh, the programming interface is a touch screen with a very simple to use interface. Um, the learning curve of the programming of this robot is very efficient and it will allow the students to uh, very uh, fast be confident with the basic functionality and advance uh, easily towards the most advanced functionality. And in order to show you uh, how fast it is to start programming your first application on the RTS, uh, I'm going to uh, begin programming the pick and place application where I will move uh, a product from the first picking position and move it to the second one. What you will see uh, shortly is the programming interface seen by a computer using VNC. So that way you can see what I am programming right now. And the first step I'm going to do is to create a new project. 
with this uh, button on the programming console, I will be able to move the robot around and uh, approximate it to the first picking position. Once I have it near the uh, picking position, I can uh, establish uh, the point or the weight point. I, I am able to align the robot uh, after moving it by hand to align it on the set axis and uh, finish uh, orienting the tool to pick the product. So once we are uh, happy with the picking position, we can uh, actuate the gripper. So in this case, we are including a pneumatic gripper. But uh, SMC has a wide range uh, catalog for uh, manipulators for industrial robots. Uh, so whether they are uh, electric or pneumatic grippers or solutions with uh, vacuum pads or magnetic uh, manipulators. In this case, this is a pneumatic gripper. We can integrate any other uh, SMC's uh, grippers for collaborative robot or uh, other man uh, collaborative manipulators. Uh, to actuate this pneumatic gripper, I will set the uh, pneumatic output uh, for or the electric output to actuate the valve. The programming console uh, allows us to test this instruction. So we can see that the uh, gripper has uh, uh, actu actuate. And I will give some time for the gripper to activate and adding a wait instruction. With one second, it should be more than enough. Once I have the first uh, picking position, I would like to add a second point just above this uh, first uh, waypoint. Uh, I will call it uh, waypoint one or the first position and A as in above. And I will set it just a little bit higher than the first picking position. And I want this instruction to be made both uh, in the first step. So I want the instruction or the movement to start from this above position, go down, pick the product, and uh, go up again. And now I will move the robot to the place position. I will uh, put the robot near the second position and start setting, aligning the robot in the set axis and fine tuning the position. So once I am happy with this position, uh, I will as well activate the valve or to release the product. I can test it as well. And if I am happy, I will also program the above point. That will be the intermediate point uh, from the first waypoint. And also, uh, we will put it the last in the last step in a second. So I will program it just above the second position. And I will also add it to the last step. And I also will add a timer after the, after the uh, release of the gripper. So now we are able to test what we have programmed. I will start the code from the beginning. I can see where the program will be starting. And now when I click on play, I will see the instructions that I've programmed being executed uh, in a recursive way. So, as you have seen, in just a matter of minutes, I am able to start programming our first uh, RTS application, in this case, a pick and place operation. And uh, as a student, I could move on to more advanced functions. For example, 
let's go to a path planning exercise. So, SMC already uh, gives some uh, code for the solution of the applications, so I will just execute the pre-programmed uh, code. I will start the operation. Here I can see that the robot will start from the beginning position. And now when I click on the start push button, the operation will begin. This is a path planning or trajectory programming. And as this robot is a collaborative robot, the moment I get in the way of the robot movement, the robot will safely come to a stop. And I am able to re-enable the robot and continue the trajectory. So you, just, you have seen uh, some applications the RTS has to offer that will allow the students to uh, be familiar with robot programming and also the interaction between the robot and the rest of the elements in the robotic cell. If you want to know more about which applications we have to offer, check out this video. Most industrial robots are integrated into larger systems that perform complex tasks and often communicate information and signals to other equipment. Expanding student knowledge beyond basic pick and place operations can be a valuable skill set in today's industries. While the RTS 200 training system from SMC includes base applications allowing familiarization of basic robot operations, the platform can be expanded to include industry-relevant applications that allow students to develop the skills required to integrate systems with industrial robots. Let's take a look at the expanded applications available for the RTS 200 robot training system. Electro-pneumatics and part transfer which utilizes pneumatic actuators and sensors to transfer a part from one location to another. Part identification and sorting that utilizes various sensors to sort products according to material, dimensional measurement, and quality. Production application, utilizing a user interface to provide an order which will be fulfilled by the robot. Variable speed conveyor with sensors utilizing a belt conveyor that can transport products to or from the robot working area. Product assembly that allows the robot to retrieve parts from storage to build a completed product. CNC machine tending that simulates a CNC operation and the handshaking required between the robot and external machines. Programmable controllers and distributed I.O. which allow connection to external controllers via digital I.O. or networking using standard protocols such as Ethernet IP, Profinet, and Modbus. 2D and 3D artificial vision which allows the use of vision sensors to identify and measure products and can also provide coordinates for robot guidance. Each application panel can be quickly installed on the RTS system utilizing pre-wired interface modules and cables. This eliminates the time required for connecting each of the units directly to the robot controller. However, all connections allow participants to fully connect and integrate the system depending on the individual course requirements. Give your students the best learning opportunity with built to industry standards training systems from SMC. Learn more about the equipment, configure a product, and review the curriculum at smctraining.com.